what's up cloud residents this is dark Thide here welcome back to the next episode of the gold and silver versus with risky rufflet hello guys we're back again and in the last episode i kind of noticed that uh you thought you were starting to fall behind what's what's going on with that um i don't know i was just uh I guess I just went places a little bit out of order, but you know, I think I'll be fine this episode. Seso is really going to be getting the team up to the levels and then uh, coming back. All right, well, let's see it. We'll get so its head and say, go. Yeah. And man, we have been like struggling to find the time to record this time. <laughs> yeah. Like, we, we, we could not get it out. So, you know what? You guys get this episode day of. So, I hope you enjoy our very uh, mm, la lax, lax commentary. Because that's probably what it's going to be. Because I, I, have, like, I have no energy right now. Just cook some uh, rice today. Why are you why are you making rice? I was just bored and I was like, uh, let me make some food. So I I uh, put some like kidney beans and like onions, tripped it up and everything. You know, it's really bad to uh, eat when you're bored. Doctors say. Yeah. That's how you get fat. Um, I've been doing that a lot, so <laughs> Don't don't do don't do it. Don't do it. Telling someone not to do something just means they're gonna do it, and you know it. I also cut my pinky too. I was doing the dishes, and apparently the uh, measuring cup got chipped, stabbed. Me. Is your measuring cup like plastic or is it like rubber? Wait, it's glass. You have glass measuring cups. Yeah. Interesting. I'm trying to think if I've ever seen a glass measuring cup. I see, like, those, like, bigger ones where you put, like, liquid in them, like, water and stuff. Like, I see those. Yeah. Are you, like, prone to accidents? Not often, but my sister is. But, like, occasionally you'll be like, ah, oh, man, I cut my pinky on our measuring cups. Yes, occasionally, but, you know, not very often. Solid. So, uh, do you remember that we uh, randomized our HM compatibility? Yeah. So, uh, I think it's going to be an issue for me whenever I go to teach uh, Whirlpool and Waterfall. Okay. I'm, I'm fairly... Okay, so like I, I picked Mon like very certainly for my team, so like they could learn these HMs, and then I remembered that they're all randomized, so it's probably not going to work out the way I want it to. I actually want to check that right now. I mean, if that's not the case, I think you can like overwrite and re-randomize the ROM with that, the TMs, but like, I don't know. I could... Okay, uh, only my poly world can learn Whirlpool, and my Paris can learn Waterfall. Sounds good. Very interesting stuff you, we've got here. <laughs> I actually like that image, like there's just this little Paris and it's just like making its way up a little waterfall with its pinter just eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I wish I could do art I would definitely do art of that true my art be booty butt cheeks it's like let me draw this like face and it's like a stick figure face with really bad shaped eyes <laughs> I mean you can always just do like dots and just make it a little bigger that's uh, true I could I bet I could draw Machamp, because Machamp is just a travesty of a Pokemon. Yes, yeah, swole. 
I mean, I feel like I would if I try to draw a regular looking person, it would come come out looking like a Machamp. So I think I can uh -huh. do it. I, I would I would draw a regular person, and that's what it would look like, you know. <laughs> that that's my artistic skill. I haven't but I could draw a picture in a little while. I mean, you do I different kind done. of art now, though. Yeah, I do graphic design, but I think I last drawing I did was like blah, a month ago, and it was like sunflowers or something. I did like a sketch of sunflowers. But yeah, I have clay, but I don't know how to really like use it. So I I feel like you're you're like really good with your art you do now though with because like I can't even do intros, but like you can. It seems like you knock them out so easily. Yeah, it was like in the beginning, you know, I never had really intros, but then I started working on my, my craft. Um, I'm pretty proud of uh, where I am. Definitely should be. It's pretty impressive stuff. I really need a water stone right now because I want to evolve my poly world into poly wrath. You still haven't found one? No. For rough. And like, I'm just waiting to like evolve him. And I'm gonna teach him my karate chop TM. You know, it's gonna be a whole thing. <laughs> so what are you doing right now? Well, I'm in the Team Rocket hideout trying to knock it out early, get some encounters, if I have uh, some backups in the PC. Nice. And then, probably gonna take on Jasmine's gym. Why don't you go ahead and take on, um, what's his name, Price? Oh, Price? Maybe, like, further, I think at the end of the episode, hopefully, that's my, that's my bet. I, I think you should go ahead and take on Price before you take on Jasmine. Why? Because the difference in level of their aces is one level, and Jasmine's higher leveled. Okay. I think his ace is a 34, and hers is a 35. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. You know, because Gen 2 is weird. My poly world just learned body slam and he's just paralyzing folks all over the place. He they he just shows you that big old body and you just get paralyzed. I imagine that doing that to like a person and your poly world sends out and you just body slam someone like someone's trying to uh try to steal something out of your house or something. I don't know. That'd be awesome though. <laughs> poly world use body slam. He just come flying at their paralyzed. face, dude. That'd be great. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I want to see it. I want to see it. <laughs> I, I need a fan art guy. Where are you at? <laughs> fan art people in the Discord. Do you have fan art people in your Discord? I have people who do really good art. Like, I know this other dude. He does, like, some really good Pokemon art and some fake events. Like, he's, like, really good. I can probably ask him. So since you have, kind of have it open, uh, what do you think of like, my new uh, like character design that I had done? It looks very nice. I saw when you changed it. I was about to compliment you, but it was like too late. Um, yeah, it looks nice. Really good. I, I just, it, it looks... It does look so nice. I, I'm so happy with how it came out. Uh, did you get a like commission or something? Yeah, I did. That's it, nice. it was worth it. It was so worth it. I don't even remember how much I paid because I, I did it quite a while ago and then they reminded me when they sent me a sketch of it and I was like, oh yeah, that looks good. And then it was done within a few days after that. It was great. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't remember things. I'm, I'm super bad with anything <laughs> involving memory. <laughs> I feel like my memory is like 50%. Like one time I'll remember something really good and then the other time I'm just like, yeah, I don't recall that. <laughs> You, you want to talk about like anime or like TV shows? We I got that. I, I can talk about that all day. But you want to talk about like school? You want to talk about what I had for dinner? Nope, nope. Oh, <laughs> uh, actually, speaking of anime, have you watched uh, Full Metal Alchemist? 
No, I hear a lot about it, though. Because I'm trying to, like, check it out, and I was just trying to get ideas on how good it is. I, I just hear a bunch of stuff about it, like, all the time. Like, I hear, like, oh, man, it's so good. Um, But apparently, like, you should watch uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, because I think the original series, um, it it made its own finale before the manga was out. Yeah. Yeah. And then the Brotherhood series, like, actually follows through with what the uh, manga did. Yeah, so that's why everyone was saying it's better, because it followed with the manga. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like they both have their own kind of thing going for them. Mm. I just found a polka dot bow. I have no idea what that is. It boosts normal type moves. It was the silk scarf before the silk scarf. Really? Yeah. Never heard of that. That's brand new to me. <laughs> I mean, have you heard of the rare brick? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's also one of those just items in this game that you don't see anywhere else, ever. Glad they changed the names, because that's going to be weird. <laughs> the polka dot bow. Yeah, that was always one I found weird, though. They just, like, straight up just changed the name. I should have got an escape rope. I don't really want to go through this. So, where are you right now? Uh, I am doing the radio tower stuff. Not too far. Nah. I feel like this green-haired girl gives me something. Oh, dance. speaking of green hair, have you ever noticed in anime how they just- Why, why do they have the most ridiculous possible hairstyles ever? <laughs> it's true, like, I don't know why they do it. It's so wacky sometimes. <laughs> I think, like, probably one of the wackiest of all um, would be, like, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, what is that hair? <laughs> what is that? How do you get your hair like that, honestly? You, like, literally would have to use so much gel and hairspray to get it to stand up like that all day. Uh... And he's the only one watched... there with, like, that super weird hair. Everyone else has, like, normal people hair. True. I've never actually never thought about it. it. Wait, you never watched it? I never watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, I've, I've seen the pictures of Yu-Gi-Oh! But, like, I haven't, like, watched an entire season or something. But, like, I've watched a couple, like, clips or something. But... Bruh. That was, like, a <laughs> childhood show. Like, I didn't have all, like, the childhood, like, um, TV shows, because we had, like, Boomerang and all that, all the cheap ones. The Bro, no, no, ones. no, 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 Th These were, like, Saturday morning cartoon shows, like, Kit the the Kids WB, is, I think is what it's called. Oh, yeah, I think, I think I remember that. Maybe I did watch it. Yeah, it was on, remember. like, Channel <laughs> 4 or something like that, but yeah, it, was, it had, like, Sonic and, like, some Transformer show and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh on it. It was lit. I remember Transformers. I think I watched, maybe I did, because I, I think I remember watching it once, but then I was like, uh, this looks boring. <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> I, mean, I changed the channel. That's probably accurate. It was probably something boring with it, because it did not have all good episodes, but what does in reality? Yeah. That's what I think about, like, um, Naruto. Like, if you took out all the filler, it'd be, like, a super awesome anime. But that's, like, a third or two-thirds of the show. It's a lot. Yeah. I feel like I shouldn't have to, like, preface, like, whenever I'm saying, Hey, you should go watch Naruto. Just skip, <laughs> you know, 30 episodes of the show. <laughs> shouldn't have to say that. Sometimes you gotta do, because <laughs> no. some people are just like... <laughs> no, no. I, I, I will suffer through it, but, like, you don't have to. I'm just trying to recommend you, like, a cool show, so I'll recommend you, like, One Punch Man, because that's just, like, an all-action comedy show. Yeah. I feel like Fairy Tales, uh filler wasn't that too bad. I I tried to watch Fairy Tale fairly recently and I couldn't get past like the first ten episodes because it was just moving so slow. Yeah, it's slow in the beginning, but I mean, if you want to like just give up to like ten episodes and like get into like the real mean greet, then you totally could. I don't 
I, I mean, you might be right. Like, I don't, I don't know. Have you like watched all of Fairy Tale? <laughs> yeah, I've watched all of them, and I'm on, I'm on the final season currently. So. Oh, I just remembered. Uh, speaking of uh, One Punch Man, did you see they're looking into making a live action movie of it? Really? When did yeah. they see that? Uh, in the last like week or so. Uh, Sony is looking that... at making a live action oh. movie for it. That's dope. It, I think it's pending a script right now, but I'm also kind of terrified that it's going to be complete trash. <laughs> like Dragon Ball Evolution. Exactly. Because like everyone wants like The Rock to play uh, uh, Saitama, and it's like, eh, no, no. Uh, no. He's too buff. Like, exactly. Like slim buff. Uh, like um um uh oh gosh, I can't remember his name now. It uh. The vampire guy, uh, what's his name? Vampire guy? Yeah, the one who played in the Twilight movies, uh, Robert Pattinson. Yeah, he, he could do it. He's like that, oh. like, thin, muscly. Oh, yeah, he could, he could definitely do it. I've heard he's playing, like, Batman. He's doing, yeah. like, a Batman movie or something. Yeah, he is. He's I'm interested to do Batman. that. But, yeah, he could totally be One Punch Man. He's got, like, the right look. You just shave his head. Yeah. Or we'll just put, like, a bald, like, thingy on him. Bald cap him, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's, like, the other thing, though, is the actor has to also be okay with either shaving their head or wearing a bald cap, which sucks. Mm. <laughs> Couldn't be me. It's, it's definitely not... That's not something I'm gonna do, you know? <laughs> also, I'm not muscly enough to be any hero... I could be a blob. Oh my god. His power is that he's fat. He might have another I power, but that's what people remember. Yeah. I actually couldn't tell you if he has another power. And I know, like, a lot, a lot about superheroes. Have you ever, like, played, like, the, uh, the X-Men games? Uh, yes, I I, ha I got the Switch one whenever it came out, the, like, Black Order one. Mm. I, I, I played that one. I literally played it for, like, three missions and got bored because the fighting in it is so boring. Wow, really? Yeah, like, it's just, you're just, like, beating, like, hordes of enemies all the time, and even when you get to boss fights, it's just, there's no fun to it. Me personally, I always love like the uh, the GameCube ones when there's just like battling through the story. Oh, it's so fun! I have a bunch of those. I used to play with my brother. There was one really good one for the Xbox that was like something to do with Apocalypse, and me and my brothers would go and play it like after bedtime, and my mom would always come out at, like three in the morning, and be like, "What are you guys doing?" <laughs> oh my god! It was such a fun game. Yeah, the good old days. I think there was one Naruto game I had too. It was pretty fun too. Play like uh, multiplayer for all my friends here. I feel like the only and Naruto games that I know are like the Naruto Storm games, where you like just have a bunch of characters, and they aren't extremely fun in my opinion. But I also never really learned how to play them, so I don't think I'm the best judge for that. Are there other Naruto games? I'm trying to think. I, I all I think is like I'm thinking about like one that I had on the GameCube, but and then I'm thinking about like Naruto Storm because those are the only ones I know. Because like I only played that GameCube one, and then I heard about Naruto Storm. But that's pretty much it. Naruto Storm, like one of them, actually ruined a huge plot point for me of the anime, and it made me super mad. I'm not going to say what That's it is, because, like, I don't want to ruin it for anyone who's actually still watching it. But, yeah, it just ruined, like, a huge character detail, and I was like, wow, that's cool. Thanks. Yep. It's rough. It's the risk you play whenever you play a game with a show that isn't finished, you know? Yeah. There aren't a lot of times you have to worry about that. Like, I'm not worried whenever I go play Halo that I'm going to get the plot ruined for me about something. 
Have you ever played uh, Gears of War? No, I haven't, but I've heard it. I've heard of it, but I've, no, I've never played it, and I don't know anything about it. That's tough. That's a uh, pretty solid game, except for, like, the recent one that came out, which uh, was kind of poo-poo from what I heard. Are you not going to tell me about it? Well, I don't have, like, the most details on it, because, like, I'm not, like, a complete pro, but I played, like, the, the demo for the, <laughs> for the like, the third game, but, like, the... Uh, the, f the new one that came out, um, I think it was, like, last year was, like, poo, poo But basically, it's, like, uh, how to explain it? It's, like, a futuristic, not really futuristic. It's, like, uh, what to, like, compare it? I would say it's, I would say it's an art, kind of, but I don't know. I'm not, a, like, a expert on the game. Like, I only played, the, like, the gen, uh, the gen, the Gears of War 3 a demo, so. I can tell you you're doing great at trying to describe it to me. <laughs> thank you, thank you, obviously. There are a lot of games I played, like, throughout high school that basically got ruined for me because I played them too much, or my friends always wanted to play them and I just wasn't in it. Like, uh, FIFA. I can't play FIFA anymore. Um... I can't really play any Call of Duties anymore. Wow, that's a good franchise too. It is, but like, they, they either always wanted to play it and I just wasn't in it, or like, I would just get destroyed and I was like, this is not fun in any way. I have uh, Black Ops 2 for it. Xbox 360, very fun. Um, I, know, like, I think COD is out too. Zombies is probably like one of the most fun game modes they ever made. Yeah. Wouldn't play at night, though. <laughs> I ain't worried about no zombies. <laughs> not really, though. I'm not worried about that. Like, zombies are completely, like, illogical. Like, it'd be more like some kind of disease takes over and we'd just call them zombies for short. Yeah. But who knows, you know? I think um, in the Zombieland universe, it was like mad cow disease like took over or something like that. It was interesting, I guess. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Have you played uh, Dead or Alive? I think that's another like zombie-like. There's another one I've like heard of and know literally nothing about. <laughs> it's real... I didn't know Shuckle learned Safeguard. Really? That's, yeah. That's odd. And Shuckle's already such a tanky mon. Like, he learns, like, protect, safeguard, he could wrap you. I think you'd probably teach him toxic. That's solid. Yeah. If this was Gen 1 with Shuckle, he'd be busted. Because he could just wrap you. True. What is the best mon in this game? In my opinion? Sure. Um... Question. Purse. I'm gonna have to say... For Alligator. Alright, and what's the actual best mon? <laughs> <laughs> okay, probably Mewtwo, you know. I don't know. Gosh, that's that's Maybe so un that's so unfairly true though. Like Mewtwo's just so good. Even Mewtwo, like just using Pound, just like bodies everything. Yeah, it's true. It still has that like base one hundred. Yeah. That's so unfairly true for like a lot of generations until you really get into it, and then there's actually good counters for Mewtwo. Yeah. It's a real bummer. They made just too good of a Pokemon. Absolutely. Uh, Mewtwo is just too good. <laughs> oh. So, uh, apparently when he changed Impossible Evos, uh, my Poliwhirl just evolved. 
Yay! He's a Politoed now. Level? Uh, 37. Oh, uh, yeah, that's probably why. Trade evolutions and stuff like that. I changed that, so it's not... Yeah, I mean, I'm not mad or anything. Like, Politoed's still a good mon. Yeah. I just kind of wanted Poly Wrath, because I had the Karate Chop TM. Yeah, uh, I mean, if that was the case, we could have just waited, but... You didn't know. So. I could have, but it seemed more fun to let him evolve. Plus, I like how Politoed's design is, because it's hilarious. <laughs> He's such Mine a little counter. derp. Throwbat. Definitely power. Top 10 favorite mon right there. Facts. Especially I after your, uh, what was it? After Gen 5, they gave him acrobatics. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely right. That's probably one of People the best moves on they've ever added. That. No, 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 no. See, like, as soon as Crowbat was introduced, even in Gen 2, like, instantly an amazing Mon. But no one knew because no one wanted to get a Gold Bat up for friendship. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it has Bite, too. Alright, come on, stay in this great ball. Yeah, it might have Wing Attack, too. I don't actually know. Two. Uh. That's Confuse Ray. Uh, I'm gonna throw it out. That's a. Good move. Gosh. And supersonic. Oof. I'm gonna throw it out the ball. Come on. You're struggling. One, two, three. Oh, come on, it's an ultra ball. You're only 23. Relax. So you're having fun? Yeah, I'm just going to catch this crowbat. Nope. It's just stupid. The only thing I find crazy about you trying to catch that crowbat is, like, it's so late in the game, I doubt you're going to add anything to your team. That is true, but, like, if I do have... I do get bodied or something, I still have PC, so... True. Can't deny these Come facts. Come on. I'm just going to... This... Please let. And okay, gets in the yellow. Now there's no way you can stay in this great ball. You have to stay in this great ball. I got you're just telling it what to do. I have to. This is way. I don't know. I think he has a more menacing face than you do. Probably. Caught it. It's female too. Picked up a uh, really cool new TM. It's called a uh, Defense Curl. Ooh. Yeah, real helpful stuff for me. <laughs> I'm gonna call her Natalie. Ugh. I just want to stretch. Same. I sat for too long. Now my butt is asleep. <laughs> Quick, someone can wake up my butt. <laughs> Yo. Alright, second one is a text the tool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Decent. I like that one. It's okay. You know, this is another one of my top ten favorite mon probably is Heracross. Really? Why? Because he's awesome. <laughs> also, like, whenever he's used in the anime, he's just... he's He did such cool things all the time. Yeah, that's true. I loved him in the anime. Like, whenever he uh, fought a Darkrai, you know. <laughs> that was wild. Pretty cool. He lost to him, but it was still pretty cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fun fact, uh, after my uh, Polygirl evolved, he can no longer learn um, Karate Chop. That's wrong. It's a bummer, man. It's a bummer.
But you know what? He's got his one little, like, curly hair on his head, and he's happy as can be. <laughs> oh, God. Gotta appreciate it, you know? Yeah. For I really hope I pick up a Master okay. Ball. Same. I mean, honestly, I don't need it. Let me stop capping. That's something that neither one of us has actually gotten. Like, we both- well, actually, I have an experience share and I have a lucky egg, but I just don't have a master ball. Yeah. I mean, I could probably get one by, like, next episode, but, you know, I just- I just want, like, a, a non-static one. Because then I can go just catch my Lugia. Which I really need to figure out how to get through the Whirl Islands. Oh yeah, that's gonna be rough. I mean, if you want to have like a video next to you while you're watching it, you could totally do that. I nah, don't really nah, 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 nah. You, you need the catch-up time. I'll just go through it. <laughs> I almost forgot though that we actually oh, are uh, going to red too. Oh yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be pretty wild once we actually get into Kanto. True. Caught the flare. Man, you're just catching everything right now. Yes. Oh. Mon name and Blade. So simple. I think I had a Mon that was named Boy in a different series. Oh, it was my, uh, finally done. Uh, Moon Emerald? Yeah, speaking of that, aren't you doing a cage lock? Yes, I'm doing a cage lock very soon. Can't spoil anything yet, but, uh... That, that's pretty much it. You can't even spoil what game it is? What? No, no, I can't tell you what game. I can't tell you who I'm doing it with. It's, it's <sighs> gonna be all a surprise. No one's expecting it. Oh man, that's tough. You're being mean to the people. <laughs> they want to know. Uh, they'll know when it drops after, you know, Glaze is finished. Uh, we're in Johto right now, but we're almost done. We're like halfway. Yeah, I was going to ask, like, does that mean you're almost done? Because I, I don't know, I haven't played Glaze. I think there's like two more regions, but I'm not going to do that. That's just too much. <laughs> that's a lot. They have Kanto, Johto, and then this other region. I forgot what it's called, I think. But, sure. What's the point of going through more regions whenever your Pokemon is already, like, level 100? Yeah. Uh, I go after this? So, I battle. Yeah. Fine for the Ice Gym. Alright, let's do this Hey, there There's you not go. Ooh. Can't wait to eat after. Same. I'm feeling Eater it. King. <laughs> Sorry, we're coming to the end here. We are. Crap. Uh, let me switch. Let's go into I'm definitely probably gonna get half of the traders done in this gym, and then we'll probably just wrap. Yeah, definitely. Because I'm already pretty close to being done with this Team Rocket stuff. I can't wait until my team's like all nicely leveled. Oh, I have such a powerhouse of a team. Lucky man, lucky man. <laughs> I've just been really enjoying this work. I know, right? It's just, it. the only problem is, like, I think it's just going really fast. <laughs> yeah, the pacing. But it's just fun in general. Yeah, I mean, that's what you get, though, whenever you play Johto. It's just going to be a fast game. Yeah. Especially if you have people who, like, really know what they're doing. It's pretty much done. It's not going to be me when I go to Kanto, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know, Kanto. 
it's not really my favorite. I mean, I think the end of Kanto is probably like some of the best of any Pokemon game where you get to battle your previous protagonist. Yeah, I think that's the best part. Switching it up there. It's definitely a really cool thing. Actually, during the uh, cage lock, we had to re-record. Like, we did, like, uh, the first two episodes, and then we did the cage lock. But then we had to re-record because we lost, and then we lost again. And then we was like, alright, we're gonna switch games, because this is just ridiculous. Wow, you already had to switch games. Yeah, so I had to do, like, I did the art, like, yesterday and finished up the thumbnail today. So it was like, oh my god. We were losing, like, crazy. Like, if it was not me, I had to restart, then he had to restart, like, later, and then it was just, uh, it was wild. All right, well, it was Gen ask, 1, too. What game are you not playing that you tried to play on the first time? Leaf Green and Fire Red. Okay. I can at least get that information. <laughs> I have the art. It's just, uh. It's a shame because the art was really good, but it's just I hate playing through those. Sorry. You don't like those out. games? What? It was just like like when I w used to play it on my old channel, I had like a leaf green playthrough, and then I was like trying to play through it, and I just restarted. I just had the worst luck, and I was just like this, and I just stopped recording because I wasn't having fun, and then I just it was just not enjoyable for me. Bruh, I just- I, I can't figure out this- this puzzle right now, it's killing me. Oof. Are you talking about the ice puzzle? N no, 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 the- the, like, there's like a switch puzzle inside the Team Rocket hideout, and it- it's killing me. Oh, that one, yeah, I hate- Yeah, I- uh... I know there's a certain order to how you do it, but like, I can't remember it. I think what you should do is like- Figure out like which door opens which, and then like do like like a save state where like you save and then you like reset and go back in and see which one works. So that's what I did. I oh, did it first time. I've almost got it. Let me let me see. No, that's not it. <laughs> I just need to move one more wall. All right, I'm gonna finish up the trainer. Then we should wrap up. Yeah, I'm good with that. Cause I'm not gonna figure this out anytime soon. True. Okay. Alien. Oh wait, I did figure it out. Cool. Hey. At least next episode will actually move forward. You lucky dog. I'm gonna be on the forever. <laughs> what do you mean lucky? I, I just uh, had to like suffer through that for like 10 minutes. <laughs> While you got to beat gym leaders. I don't know about that. I'm still a trainer. You know, fun fact about uh, Price's gym. You only have to battle one trainer. Really? Yeah. If I'm you battling all the traders because I need the levels, to be honest. If you looked back at, like, whenever I battled him, I only fought one trainer. That's wild. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about levels because Team Rocket in this game is literally so underleveled the entire game. Yeah. The only thing I'm actually worried about is Red. Because I know I'm going to be underleveled for him. Yeah, we definitely have to do some like, off-screen grinding for that. Yeah, there's no other way to do it. Unless it doesn't work, um, you probably just rank handy. <laughs> you know? All right, well, you just let me know whenever you're done with that battle. Uh, yeah, just finish. I'm just gonna heal up. All right, I'm gonna hit my save, 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 save. All right, guys. So this episode was included quite a bit of different, you know, subjects and stuff. So you know, why don't you uh pepper the comment section down below with some of your like favorite things you know your shows your interests let's just see what you got and we will definitely communicate with you and talk to you and you know that we love you and you're probably a little bit weird so <laughs> i hope to see you down there in the comments bye guys peace